In this video, we show you how to install Windows 10 on a 2018 Mac Mini using Boot Camp Assistant. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, so step one is to download the Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft. So all you need to do is just simply type in Windows 10 in a Google search and then click on the Microsoft link that says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And once you do that, that will take you to Microsoft's website where you can download the Windows 10 ISO. Now for addition, make sure you choose the Windows 10 April 2018 update, just like this. So we're gonna select that one and then we're gonna click confirm. All right, so it'll validate your request. And now you want to choose your language. So in my case, I'm going to choose English and then I'm going to click confirm. And now you're going to get two links, one for 32 bit, one for 64 bit. Choose the 64 bit download, just click it and it will start the download process. Now, depending on your internet connection, it may take a while. I've sped this up quite a bit so that I don't waste your time. But again, this is almost five gigabytes in size, so it may take a while depending on your connection. But once the download is complete, you can close out of your browser. So we'll just do that right now. And then you wanna to go to Launchpad or you can go to the Applications folder slash Utilities. But in my case, I'm just gonna to go to Launchpad, go to the other folder and then select Boot Camp Assistant. All right, and then click Continue. And here's where you can determine the size of your Windows partition. It will give you a minimum size. In my case, it's 64 gigabytes. And I'm gonna store games and things on an external drive, so I'm gonna make this as small as possible. You can do the same if you wish. Now click where it says choose, then you wanna to navigate to the downloads folder and find your Windows 10 ISO that we downloaded previously, click open, and then click where it says install. And this will kick off the Bootcamp Assistant. It will download Windows support software first. It will then partition your drive to create that Bootcamp partition. And then it will copy all the downloaded files over to that Bootcamp partition in preparation for the Windows installation. It's doing all that right now. Once it's complete, it's going to ask you for your administrator password. Just go ahead and put that in and then click OK. And then once you do, your Mac Mini is going to reboot into the Windows setup wizard. All right, so let's go ahead and click OK and you can see our 2018 Mac Mini will restart. All right, it's gonna boot into Windows Setup. There we go. On this screen, click Next. And then click where it says, I do not have a product key. You can always enter that later. And once you do, you can select Windows 10 Pro in this list and then click Next. So there's Windows 10 Pro and we'll click the next button. Now after reading the license and terms documentation, if you accept it, click the accept button and then click next. All right, so now it's gonna go through and copy everything over and install Windows 10. And then after the installation is complete, it's going to reboot your Mac. Now I have sped this up considerably because otherwise you could be waiting here a long time. It will take longer when you do this. All right, so now we're back up almost, and now you get to go through the configuration. So select your region, click yes, and then for keyboard layout, click yes, and then you can click skip, and then you wanna to connect to your Wi-Fi network. And again, I've sped this up and kind of censored it out. All right, we're in the home stretch. You wanna click set up for personal use, and then click next. And then you wanna choose offline account in the bottom left-hand corner, at least that's what I like to do. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna sign in with the Microsoft account, I click no there. And now you just wanna give your PC a name. I'm gonna type Jeff and then click next. And then for password, I skip it just to get through it, but you should probably set up one and then click next. Now for the privacy settings, I turn off all these switches. So I just go through and turn them all off. And then click accept. All right, so now it's gonna take a little bit longer. Again, I've sped this up to get through it. So there we go, we're at our desktop. Now, the first thing you're gonna see here is the bootcamp installer. So just go through that installer. It's gonna install all the drivers necessary for your Mac to work with Windows. And then it's gonna ask you to restart. Just click finish to restart. 
Okay, so I promise we're almost there. There's one last major thing we need to do and that's install all the Windows updates. So you can just, in the little search bar, type in Windows and then choose check for updates. And then when the Windows update settings appear, click the check for updates button like this. It'll go out and check for all the available updates and download and install those updates. This will take a while, so just be patient let it go through and do its thing and then it will prompt you to restart your computer which you can do right now and then once you reboot there are some personal preference sort of things that you can set up like changing resolution desktop background of course you can enter your activation code if you have one of those for windows which i do recommend doing uh, here in this case though i'm going to right click on the desktop and select display settings I'm gonna change up the resolution for this LG ultra wide 5K 2K display. We reviewed this display already. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check out that review. All right, so I'm gonna keep changes, change up the zoom level a little bit. All right, so we're looking real good. So that's pretty much it. You now have Windows 10 running on your Mac mini. Now, if you wanna boot back into Mac OS, all you need to do is click the boot camp button in the system tray and then click restart in Mac OS and then click OK, it'll restart and take you back to Mac OS. OK, so it's restarting, and now we're back up in Mac OS. So just enter your password. And here, I'll show you how to get back into Windows if you wanna go from Mac OS to Windows with ease. All you need to do is go to the System Preferences. So we're gonna do that right now. And then click where it says Startup Disk. And then authenticate using your password and then just click boot camp and then restart. So boot camp, restart, and then restart. And that'll take you back to Windows 10. So why would you wanna use Windows 10? Well, for me, it's all about gaming. Thumbs up if you wanna see a video showcasing my Mac mini gaming setup. You can see I have Forza Horizon 4 running at 5120 by 2160 at high settings with a very playable frame rate. So if you wanna see more on that, let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.